Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to a very special stream. It is IAE 2952, so pretty excited about that uh, this in Star Citizen, where we feature certain ship manufacturers each day, and today is the first day, and that day belongs to Drake. So if you're familiar with the Drake ships, uh, this is the event for you. If you like them, if you're a fan, uh, I am at Microtech at the event and, uh, just wanted to put this to bed <laughs> in case you were wondering, uh, the Drake Cuddy, the new Drake starter ship, which I have here. Uh, and you can have two. Just wanted to see if a rock would fit in this ship. It does not. And uh, the back wheels will hang out. It's not flyable with a rock in it. Um, this Drake ship does have... Uh, I'll just jump out here and get in uh, to it so we can actually take a proper look at the ship. Um, you've probably seen models of this ship, but it does have the largest cargo bay of any starter ship. So it's pretty big. In fact, if it were a little bit deeper, it would have fit the rock. Um, but of course it runs right into this back wall and, uh, doors are nice and responsive on this ship. Not much of a tour. That was the Bay Area, uh, which again is the largest one uh, for a starter. There's a, a bathroom in here. A very small Drake bathroom with a toilet. Um, I think you have to access it that way. Got to be careful because I have clipped into the doors in this ship multiple times. So if you're standing too close to the door when it decides to close, uh, you will clip in and get trapped. So uh, just be aware of that. Beyond that, it is a great little ship. I'm actually pretty impressed by this thing. Um, a very decent little cockpit here. Very Drake styled cockpit. Of course, you can check this ship out if you head on over to Microtech on your own. The event is happening right now. I just leave that rock. Uh, but there she is in the dark. Now, there are these little windows that are supposed to close. Um... Let's see if I can get them to close. I think it is down here. Okay, I don't know what that is, but this says deploy. Can I close those? Or is that deploying the ramp? Yeah, I don't know what deploy means there. Oh, wait, did it close those? Yeah, no, it didn't. Oh, yeah, it did. It did close those windows. So, yeah, you see those windows are closed now. And if I retract, as you can, oh, you can, you can see it. Yeah, it opens those windows. Now, why you'd want those closed, I don't know. Um, but nonetheless, this is a pretty cool little, little ship. Yeah. So let's go to the expo. I'm going to go ahead and fly to the, well, do I even need to fly? I think I might just abandon this, this particular ship. It's not mine anyway, right? 
<laughs> I'm sure Drake doesn't mind. We're just going to go ahead and leave this ship. We'll walk to the commons and then take the train. Lots of people here trying to check out, uh, you know, the various ships and what fits into each ship. Uh, this is a little confusing, these buttons, because you want to click there, but that's just the screen. There's the button. Yeah, maybe I'll drive this back. It's very difficult to walk here. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, Space Bub. Just checking out the expo. Uh, I wanted to see if a, if a rock would fit in the cutter. It does not. And so now I'm going to head back. So let's just drive this back so that we can get there within, you know, 30 minutes or so. Uh, that light does not help. Look at all these ships of people just trying, checking things out. I'll see if I can even get to the garage. Yeah, I can. Yeah, maybe we'll just store this. We got uh, a couple of ships here. Uh, people <laughs> obviously checking out, and this is kind of an easy cheat way of getting into the uh, a fast way to land. So I'm ass I'm assuming a lot of people are landing landing on the ice so that they can get here faster. Okay, I was gonna go show you all the ships. Uh, I w I did check out the expo already. And, uh, oh boy, there was the cr most crowded train ride that I've ever taken. Um, Welcome. but we're going to head back. So if you're in a place where you can't be in the game right now, we'll show you what's going on. Okay, so that's been stored. Let's get into our proper digs here. It's cold on Microtech, so we'll make sure we're wearing the proper suit. All right, now we're dressed for success. Kind of miss Microtech, uh, New Babbage. Um, this used to be where, uh, you know, my home was. And so it kind of start out here. It looks like there's a lot of rendering issues happening here. Uh, the server must just be jam-packed. Uh, so that's going to be the promenade. So we're not going to go that way. We're going to go this way. Follow the signs. I believe we we're gonna hit the transit here because it is at the expo. Oh, perfect timing. There's somebody. 
Yeah, I think it was like, um, oh man, I took a screenshot. I think it was like 13, 14 people on the, on the train earlier when this all started out. So here we go. This is very reminiscent of uh, the other expo. Everything's decked out in red. And uh, we had access to this in the PTU. Everyone had access. Um, this is very similar to Invictus layout where the lobby is, I mean, identical. Except in um, Invictus, they had that statue here of the uh, person sort of helping another soldier up. You know, uh, it was kind of uh, kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, you can buy the shirts for all the ship manufacturers, and uh, then you get this special IAE twenty nine fifty two T shirt too. So. If you're into swag, but let's head into the lobby or into the uh, expo itself. There's your schedule. So Drake's today, Aegis tomorrow, Anvil, Crusader, uh, Tumbril Industries. Um, and then it looks like RSI, Origin, APOC, and these other kind of the alien ships. And then Argo, Grey Cat. CO and Kruger. Okay, that's cool. And then Misk on the uh, 25th. And Best in Show uh, wraps that up. So that'll be kind of cool. Let's go to the Apex Hall. There we are. Very similar to Invictus as well. Um, that layout in, uh, that was on Crusader. Drake is the official sponsor. I love these lighting effects on the stair. Just very futuristic. Uh, something you would see in an expo in real life and I mean look at this <laughs> somebody bought a bunch of these <laughs> that is awesome I love it I'm going to pick one of these things up I'm going to grab it I am going to grab this this is somebody being very nice I'm going to take that That is so cool. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so yeah, heading right down the deck here. Uh, we're we're going to see the Caterpillar here. Which is, of course, I think the largest ship that we're going to see in person. And then the Corsairs. There's three variants here. And we've seen the Corsair. Uh, Corsair. It, uh, it is worth kind of checking out, though. I love that they even have these little lighting things here. Now, if you listen carefully, you'll hear chatter. Where they they literally have people. I just clipped through the ramp there. I am in weird. Can I walk into the ship? Nope. I clipped through the, okay. We won't be looking at the Corsair. 
Let me try that again. I'll walk up the side, maybe? Uh, nope. You cannot get in to this ship. Strange. Strange indeed. Let's try one of the other two. Yeah, they don't want us checking that out for some reason. Let's try this one. There we go. Yeah. Now, one pro tip here for these events is the ships are usually off. And the lighting is usually off, too. And I don't think you can actually even turn the lighting on. It looks like the lighting might be on. I don't know. There we go. Yeah, I know in, in uh, Invictus, I wasn't even able to turn the, the ship lights on, so you're kind of walking in the dark. And then you just have to put a helmet on and, and use your torch uh, for rooms like this. I wish the lights were just on by default. I don't even know if I turned that on or off. There, it's on. Yeah, listen to the chatter. Again, I'm going to try to turn the lights on. I guess they're on. It's a very dark ship. <laughs> I know that's kind of a, a silly criticism of the ship, but this dim mood lighting is very Drake. And there's the turrets on either side. And this is the pilot seat. Now, of course, you've probably seen this. It's been all over. But uh, it is fun to kind of come in here for yourself. Because on video, I don't think you get a good sense of how big this thing is. Or how small it is. Let's see if the doors are responsive enough. Uh, they're okay. I wouldn't say they're great. Drake loves, I think... It's kind of part of their DNA to make you walk around something like, you know, you can jump over that rail, but they really want you to see the inner guts of their ships. Uh, so you can't really leave a Drake ship without walking through engineering, <laughs> which I really appreciate. So we got the, uh, the Caterpillar here, the Corsair. Uh, again, there's three of them here. Plenty of room. Let's head to the Apex uh, Hall 3. Actually, is that where we are? This is where we came in. Yeah. Let's go look at the map. And you can kind of see what's here um, in case you're interested. Oh, it's very blurry. Yeah, if we're having some... There we go. A little delay on the rendering of these signs everywhere but yeah you can see where we are um and then we can go downstairs and see the dragonfly and the mule and there's a model of the kraken which we might go check out and then over in that upper area that's where all of the uh the the cutters the new cutter uh, that we just were in the herald the buccaneer of course which are flyable and then the the vulture. The vulture was at uh, Invictus as well. It you can walk around in it. Um, so uh, we'll go do that and see if there's been any, any updates since Invictus uh, to that ship. But it looks like it's, you know, at Invictus it looked like it was kind of ready to go. Um, but it is definitely uh, a highly anticipated Drake ship. Is the uh, the vulture. I know it opens up a whole new game loop we're waiting for, which is salvage. So pretty excited about that. And then, of course, the uh, the AH4, uh, that four room, is uh, with all the cutlasses. The blue, the red, and the black, and the steel. So the other two areas look uh, empty. Uh, the uh, 
number two, number three rooms. I'm sure the other ship manufacturers will fill those up uh, with their goodies. So let's head downstairs first. I want to check out the dragonfly and the mule, uh, and we want to go check out that kraken because I think that's going to be really interesting to see that model. And then we'll come back up and hit the other halls. Again, this is very similar to the layout in the Invictus week. I think it's identical, actually. Uh, so there's the dragonflies. I like how they have them kind of set here in a expo kind of exhibit terrain here. You can approach these things. You can, I think you can even get on them and you can rent. Uh, renting wasn't working for me, but I think all of these ships should be in your hangar. We'll go back to the display hall here in a second. I got to check out the the mule. I love the mule. And uh, if you don't own one of these, it is just a great ground ship. Highly recommend this ship or this vehicle. Uh, I really can't wait for gameplay to get uh, completed for cargo re uh, the cargo refactor because it's got a little more, a box under its like under the vehicle that I'm assuming it will just sort of scoop up. It does have um, external storage. Um, this rent hit thing is going to get in my way uh, the whole time, but if you if I'm able to, I can't. Unfortunately, I don't want to rent it. Um, but yeah, that's the button that will open up external storage, and then you can place three boxes on each side. Yeah, it's very handy for box missions or bunkers. Just a great vehicle. I bet that will fit in the cutter. Um, mm, maybe not. I don't know. It might be a little too long for the cutter as well. Uh, yeah, let's head back here to the... model that they have. Yeah, there it is. And uh, I'll just show you the display here. This is the Kraken. I'm not going to read that out loud for you, but uh, give you a little time to read that. If you listen to the chatter, it's really funny because uh, one guy is like, yeah, this isn't really my style of ships, but I like what they're doing. <laughs> so there's the Kraken. I, I think this is going to be a tremendous ship when it is in game. I love the way this ship looks and it's all... Drake, right? It really is a culmination of everything that is Drake. There's a little little nod to the Cuddy Black or the Cuddies with these fins. I'm sure those things won't fall off as easily as they do in the Cutlass. But okay, let's get out of here. Well, let me walk through here. Yeah. I think we can head back up the other set of stairs here. Yeah, as I was saying, the pro tip is, you know, putting a helmet on 
uh, because Invictus, that whole down area was just so dark. You couldn't, you're running into walls because there's no lighting down there. Uh, seems like an oversight. Uh, of course, there's some weapons on display here. I'm not really into uh, looking at these as much as I'm sure other people are, but there they are. That practically looks like a ship, that thing's so big. Look at that. It's amazing. Love the detail. So we'll head to the back here, which will get us to the other two rooms that we can check out. Now, you may have remembered in Invictus, this is where they had um, that extremely rare ship. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. It's only in uh, Squadron 42. Um, and it was just there to taunt us. We'll head through here. Now, these are all the Cutlass. You know, kind of all the same ship. I, I'm a fan of the Cutty Black and Red. I have I have the Red and I have the Black right now on Loner. I'm not such a big fan of the Steel. Yeah, you can see this is a Steel. And I believe that's the blue that I was just looking at. Which, of course, I want to like them, but they just seem out of, not out of place. Let's walk into. Yeah, this is the, these are sort of the, the prisoner areas where you can Carbon, carbon freeze your, your uh, bounty. It's like a hand stole, a hand solo style. Carbonite freeze that would be awesome. Uh, pretty similar in here to the other cutties. Let's see if I can get out this door. This. Kind of cool to see these. Although by now I'm sure most people have seen a Cuddy. It's a great starter ship. Cuddy Black. Uh, so we came in. We're just going to go this way. They both lead to the... Uh, and we're going to head to f this last room. Yeah, because that's the main room. And this is where we can check out the brand new cutter. The Herald's over there and the Buccaneer's over there. And uh, there's the Vulture. Now, I do want to walk into the Vulture here, but uh, this is just a... I flew this ship, as you know. Um, and I kind of like it. It's a small little starter, of course. You've seen the interior. This is kind of a better lit exterior. Um, I kind of dig it. I don't know what I would really use it for. Um, it's just a little solo flyer. Um, doesn't fit the rock, but that's okay. I wouldn't expect uh, none of the starter ships would fit a rock. So now uh, they just closed this up on us. But the Vulture has a um, a fairly substantial bay um, area. Now I don't know if that's just a bug or somebody's in the maybe they're in the pilot seat. Let's see if we can get in. Yeah, there's a person in there. That's fine. 
Uh, nice little ramp. Oh, dude. Trying to get into the ship. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. I mean, this bay area actually is fairly big. I'm, I'm sure it'll fit a buggy or something or two. Uh, this is where you do your salvage to box conversion there. So whatever materials are in there. I'm sure you can look through this window and see things getting chopped up and all that. That'd be cool. Got it. It's kind of a tight squeeze here. I don't know if this is a bathroom or something. No, that's just a storage. Looks like they're storing some blood in there. Oh, that's rust. It is kind of tight in this cockpit, and I think they really do need to widen this thing up a little bit. Oh, somebody's in there. We'll get out of their way. Yeah, I'll, I'll head into this bathroom and let them go by. There's yet another person in here. But yeah, there's not a lot of room in here as we trip over ourselves. I'll let that guy go. Oh, dude, I'm in the bathroom and I need to get out. <laughs> okay. Let's not lock. Let's open the door. There we go. Uh, because there is another exit. It's over here. It's going to be hard with that other person in here. But uh, yeah, it just opened up. And that will lead you out from this cockpit area. And you can actually crawl down this ladder. But the ladder doesn't work. It's actually broken. Uh, let's pop in here while the seat's open. So you got a couple of uh, MFDs down here. Let's see if I can power them on. Mm, probably not working. But this is just about where it was uh, for Invictus. So I don't see anything different. I don't think they've made any progress update on this. At least not from what I can tell. So you can get out. I'll, I'll try to get out that other exit. Yeah, right here. It kind of stands you up and gets you ready to go. And there's the ladder. Now, the last time at Invictus, if I remember correctly, this ladder doesn't work coming up or down. Yeah, see, it doesn't, doesn't work. And I can't get up this ladder. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't work still. Um, so that will just be another way you can jump right into the cockpit without having to uh, go through the ramp access, which is kind of cool. Let's kind of pop up here and take a look. Yeah, I like the cutter. I think it's a great starter ship. I really do. I think that's a, a great entry into the game. Might It might be, you know, the best recommended starter ship, I think. Um, it certainly, in my opinion, is better than the Titan um, because the bay is bigger. And it has everything that the Titan has. And, uh, yeah, I think you can get away with doing a bunch of things. Just uh, wanted to take another quick overview of the Cutlass, all of the varieties, the variants of that ship. And, of course... Corsair. I really do. Of 
course, Caterpillar, the infamous Caterpillar. Can't wait until we get these doors to actually go all the way down. That's going to change this entire ship and open it up to so much more uses as soon as that actually works. Uh, of course, there's some components over here on display. I, I think I just like I do like looking at these some of these things just because of the detail that they put into this game. Even these little components, which you would expect to be just kind of generic. Uh, they're very well designed. I don't know how I feel about the Corsair. I, I like it. Um... I think I might struggle for a use for the Corsair, but you know, I don't need the ship to be practical, honestly. Uh, if it's just fun to fly, um, that's all I need. And there it is in a nutshell. Day one, we got ourselves <laughs> That is down to down to four. Whoa, some audio issues going on there. Yeah, that's it. The Pico Penguin. I was wondering if um, I had the name right, Pico. Yeah, the Pico uh, plushy uh, or uh, penguin you can get here on Microtech. It's Well, take a look at that. I do love the spatial audio in this game, too. You know, that source audio from the... I could hear it in my left ear and then I've turned over and now it's in stereo. Yeah, this is great. I'm excited to see the other ships too. Uh, I know Drake is a polarizing um, ship manufacturer, um, but it looks like we have uh, Aegis Dynamics tomorrow, and uh, we're definitely going to check that out as well. I think I want to take the cutter out and uh, go back to the commons. And I believe we hang out from the commons. I think we head from there. Careful. Doors are now closed. 
Uh, it'll take us back to the space station. Taking the train so many times here, uh, it's weird to s stay on the train, you know, <laughs> for two stops. But very cool. I'm glad they did that. Well, I hope you're all having a happy Friday. I am. I am very excited to have this week come to a close. Um, it has been a great week. We've got a lot of work done at my company. And uh, so I actually had so much work I couldn't stream on Wednesday. And uh, yeah, had to had to focus, uh, buckle down and get some get some things done, some deadlines. But uh, happy to be on the other side of that. I wonder if my ship is still out there, but I'm going to respawn it. I just want to see what the claim time on that ship is. I think it's right now it's less than a minute or it's a minute. I need to get a couple of drinks. That's something that I used, uh, I saw people do as well. Yeah, come on in. Uh, was putting drinks up there, uh, the, uh, expo hall, because, uh, if you're new to new Babbage, you may not know where to get drinks and food and, you can see I'm running low on both. But we can pick up some drinks over here. Ooh, the frame rates are really, really dropping here. And that's where you can pick up your penguin if you want one. If you want to buy one legit for yourself, uh, let's get a drink. Hey. Oh yeah, no helmet to take off, so I can just drink this right away like a real human. where you can rent and uh, you can also microtech. microtech is actually or a new Babbage is actually um, a very good home if you have land vehicles because uh, you can spawn your ships over there and uh, you can spawn ground vehicles here um, and there's two places to spawn ground vehicles I think new Babbage is the only major city that allows you to spawn in two locations. Let's grab the only available terminal. Yeah, so let's take a look at the ships here that you have access to uh, this week or this day. Um, you have access to uh, I, I own the Caterpillar, but I believe you can get it. Keep a watch. 
Uh, I, I own it in game. I bought it in game. Uh, there's the uh, Corsair. Uh, the black and the red. I don't think I'm seeing the other. You can rent all of those ships, by the way, that you saw. However, I couldn't get them to rent when I was there uh, last time. I forgot to check again. Uh, but yeah, you can get the all the reds. Uh, excuse me, all the uh, cutties. Uh, but I want to. I want to claim this one. Yeah, one minute. That's a. It's a good, 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 good amount of time to wait for a starter ship. I think. Yeah, I want to take the cutter out. I'm most interested in the cutter. Uh, the Corsair. I'm fifty-fifty on, so I want to fly that thing a little bit and and run that through its paces. Uh, I might actually be streaming again later today. Um, I've got to stop in about uh, no more than an hour and a half from now. But I just want to run through the the um, expo and, and let you take a peek at that if you happen to be watching. Uh, because maybe you can't be in game. So 15 seconds. Is there anything else I want to claim? I don't think so. Yeah, so these will uh, be stored at your home. So Area 18 is mine, and so the Corsair is there uh, for me. Let's get the cutter out. And of course, there it is one more time. The cutter. I. Yeah, I think it, it seems to me like they do um, for every ship that's in this game. Uh, they make it a point that the ship itself has some kind of unique feature. Uh, I'm just going to. leave my uh, goods here. Oh yeah, these doors do auto open, so. Yeah, and the unique feature of this ship is those little windows that close. Again, I'm not sure if that gives you like an advantage of some kind, maybe I would imagine it would give you maybe more protection. I don't know. <laughs> you are clear to launch. Now, the atmosphere in Microtech is um, challenging. So, and this thing, I think, flies pretty well in atmosphere. Uh, this is a really good first test of that. Does have VTOL. Just like a cutlass black, it kind of uh, rotates the main thrusters. Which is kind of cool. Nice little lights on the, on the bottom. 
I love those windows in the back too that go into the bay. Look, you can look right in there, see what you've got. <laughs> That's cool. All right, let's take this thing out of atmosphere and we'll head out and fly around a little bit. love that you can see the space station right up there, but that's not where we're going. I wanted to see if we can get, oh yeah, geez, look at the fuel, 6,000. Yeah, it looks like you could easily get back. That's great. That's great. Let's head to Hurston. Did you see that? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that was cool. It's always fun to have a new ship to fly around. Look at those. Uh, uh, the other thing, the other detail uh, that I love about this ship is very, very strange. But these little bars on the bottom, they, I don't know, they don't serve a purpose, but they just add to the aesthetic, right? I love it. The Drake lit up back on the bay back bay door there again those windows i love those windows let's take a little peek at the bay Yeah, I like this little ship. This might be my favorite little ship.
Hey, Krusty. Uh, I was just saying, uh, you know, Microtech is the atmosphere of horror uh, to fly small ships. And this thing does an amazing job in atmosphere. It's the first thing that I noticed how controllable uh, the ship was. Because uh, normally when you fly in Microtech, uh, even when you're trying to like land in Microtech, the winds uh, will knock you around just about any ship. Uh, but this cuts right through the ship, no pun intended. It really is excellent. Um, it has VTOL, a strong VTOL for its size. Um, and it is, it's a great ship. It is, um, uh, like I said, I think this might be my new favorite uh, small ship. And uh, it flies fantastic. Uh, fantastic flight control uh, on this little guy. So, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I'm going to take it to Hurston. And um, I think I'm going to end up buying this for sure. Um, it is, uh, it, yeah, it's a great, great ship. Now, I've seen some other skins on it. And I haven't checked out the skins. Um, but I like this black and red, uh, yellow uh, look it just I don't know if there's something that's going to improve that for me I I love it the bay uh, I did try to put a gray cat rock in the bay it does not fit um, the back wheels will hang out but it does get into uh, the bay so I think um, maybe the mule we might try that See if the mule will fit in there, because the mule is smaller. Um, certainly the Great Cat um, PTV will fit in there, but maybe the Great Cat STV uh, might fit in there too. So I might try those, those two. Now, I don't know if I need those vehicles if I were to take this guy out, but uh, it would just make it uh, a bit nicer. Now, I know in the... Uh, preview when they were highlighting the ship in uh, Star Citizen Weekly, um, they meant they did made mention to the fact that you know a small vehicle will fit in there if you're careful. So I don't know what small vehicle they were showing when they cut to that, um, but overall, it's just like a great little ship. I think it's going to be one of those things where a lot of new players are going to love uh, the game even more because of the flexibility of this ship. And I think it will accomplish what, you know, if you were a real ship manufacturer, it it will get them into a Drake, you know, because uh, everyone raves about the, the Cutlass Black, but I would, you know, of, of course you can put a, a rock in the back of a of a cutlass black so it kind of is definitely and it has a turret it's more multi-purpose uh, but if you're just starting out in the game doing some box missions or doing some other things maybe i'll do a box mission um this this little guy i think is perfect for that yeah i'm gonna take it to hearst and fly around in some atmosphere on a different planet uh just to check it out and then maybe we'll check out the corsair as well and and do the same, kind of fly that around um, Area 18 or something. Yeah, I'm in love with this ship right now, for sure. So we're going to go down the long way so I can kind of uh, hang out. Yeah, Krusty says I would have picked 
it as a starter when it was new. The Aurora was a pain. Yeah, the Aurora, um, unfortunately, it was like the ship that, you, you know, the, inter the entry level ship, it didn't really even do all the entry level things that you want to do in the game. Um, and I, I guess I refer to like box missions as kind of the gold standard of the first thing that people tend to want to do or tend to be advised to do. Kind of entering atmosphere here. I'll uh, get the sound down. Um, people tend to do that. However, I want to head to this little island area up here. However, the Aurora doesn't doesn't do a great job um, for uh, box missions, and uh, you don't have a bay. Uh, and I really think this this is the new. Uh, recommended starter ship. I can see them selling a lot of these ships. Uh, I want to buy one um, just to have it um, because it seems like a lot of fun. There's also plenty of fuel in this ship as well. Uh, let's go ahead and deploy the window shades. <laughs> I guess if you're flying around and the sun's in your face over to the to the left or right, you could you could definitely uh, open those shades. I'm gonna. Oh, that is a that is a beautiful shot right there. Wow, look at this game. Look at this ship. It just every time I look at it, I I like it even more. Yeah, that's so cool. I went ahead to this island right up here. Yeah, Krusty, it has window shades. <laughs> Do you see that? Like uh, I don't have a hot button for it, so look over to my left, you see it's closed. Now watch, I'll open it with the um, deploy here or retract. See that? Window shades <laughs> for the two side windows. Yeah. And there's a shot of the outside here with them open, which is how they are by default. Like I said, I wish I had a uh, hot button for that. Uh, I'll have to look and see if I can set that. Uh, so you can see the animate, you'd be able to see the animation from outside. But uh, yeah, I don't know of another ship that has those. And I was just saying earlier that like they're really good at making things, you know, like a sh this ship has something unique, even if it's silly. Yeah, sold, sold. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm buying this thing. A hundred percent I'm buying this ship. Um, I don't know why, but I just have to have it. <laughs> like you just roll up and you're, you know, like, oh, the guys, the uh, sun's over there. So uh, hang on a second. I'm just going to go ahead and deploy my uh, window shade. There we go. Oh, that's better. That's better. It's darker. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to land this thing on... A uh, little island here. We'll do a little skimming of the pond over here as well, too. Um, you know, the Herald, I was thinking of getting the Herald. But uh, now this ship is just like, yeah, because I wanted a small Drake ship. Um, and uh, now I can just get this because this is much better, much better. I, I might be flying this around for a while. <laughs> I do want to fly the Corsair because I wanna I wanna check that out as well. Um, I think those are the two ships that are exciting to me. The Vulture is, is as well, but you can't fly that. So um, I did check it out on the floor. Looks like it's about where it was uh, way back when Invictus Week was going on. Um, was that uh, earlier this year? And uh, it doesn't look like there's been any progress on the Vulture. So. I'm, I'm 
not as interested in buying that ship quite yet. Um, I think it could be good, but it also is very cramped in there. Um... Yeah, this thing does zip around. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's a it's a cool ship. It's not uh Yeah, it's it's very responsive. Like it rolls quite well. Uh now I'm topping out here at like 400 and 12, 400 around there. But we're going to take it down to this island and land it. And then we might skim the pond a little bit, uh, do some low flying. Yeah, I just love those little windows. <laughs> I do kind of, I think I'm just going to go ahead and open them up here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get, get, get a better view. Yeah. I'll just be playing with these windows for a while. I don't know why. Yeah, if I had, uh, I, I need to get some, I need to get the Toby eye tracker so I can kind of look around more easily. Drop the landing gear here. Just want to see that. Kind of cutlass, cutlass like, I think, right? It looks very similar to that. The bay does too. Bay really, of course, reminds me of a cutlass. And uh, I will also throw it into VTOL here just to show you that. Very similar to the cutlass. Oh yeah, I love this. I love this ship. It's like a mule and a cutlass had a had a baby. Or maybe the cutlass and this had a baby and that's the mule. It's one of the two. Of course in VTOL you're a bit sluggish, but that's to be expected. You're not really supposed to use VTOL to forward fly. It's more for vertical control. Oh, I love this ship. It's not a fighter. Of course not. Pew, pew, pew. Do I want to land in this crater? Kind of want a better view. Where else can I land? Yeah, let's head over there. Oh, this is a beautiful ship. Yeah, 
Yeah, Krusty, I agree with you on that statement. Um, I'm on the fence as well. I, It looks cool, but there's so many unknowns right now. It's like, what if I hate salvage gameplay? And then I've got the ship that really only does something that's not in the game right now. So I kind of, I'm in a wait and see with the Vulture, and I know that's going to cost me some money um, to do that, but uh, yeah, so you can see, look at the winds that are just hitting me, and I am, I'm pushing it, uh, let me hit VTOL here real quick, yeah, look at those winds are coming up and hitting this ship, and it's, it's just stuck here. Like I could, I feel like I could sit here all day. Let's bring her down for a landing. Yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, Krusty, the, the thing with the Vulture, too, is um, I'm really interested in waiting to see what else is out there um, that might be better dollars spent um, before I buy it and even might wait until I can buy it in-game uh, just to see if I like the, the game loop. Because from what I understand... Uh, yeah, you can have a crew in that ship, but it is mainly a solo. Um, there's only one pilot seat. There's not a co-pilot seat. Um, so I don't know if there's any advantage. Just going to pop out here. Oh, I wish I had this ship when I first started the game. I really do. Uh, you got a bed here for bed logging. I know there's like a reading light there. Uh, bathroom is over here. Uh, there, That's it. That's what you get. Get your bay. Um, but a nice, nice big bay. Yeah, I bet I get knocked over from the wind. Yeah. That is a cool ship. Yeah, I love it. All right, let's take this thing out. Fly a little bit on the uh, over the over the water. Oh yeah, I think it's on the uh, yeah, it's on this side. Oh yeah, what is the emergency? I click on that? No, I think it's just the light on off, but I thought that I could trigger the emergency lights. That's a component. Alright, if if this thing had the ability to store uh, the rock, this thing would be perfect. Perfect, I tell you. Let's 
So the Nomad still kind of wins in that regard. Does it have gun racks? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's check out. Maybe it does. Am I sinking? Yeah, let me pop out and check. Okay, so I don't see any... Oh, yeah, I think right here. Is this not a gun rack? Yeah, a gun rack. I don't have a gun on me, but I think that is a gun rack. Do I have a gun on me? No, I don't. I know for a fact I don't. But let me just check some other areas here. These are all components. That's the bathroom. Components. Oh, here's uh, some external storage. That's cool. Oh, I like that. Yeah, so this is, this would be different than, um, yeah, so you could share what you store in here uh, with other people because that's external. Uh, yeah, you can bedlock. Um, I'm not going to do it right now, but there is a bed for bed logging. I'll, maybe I'll do that uh, when we get done with our flying. But this is cool. Uh, so this will actually be shared storage for you and anyone else. Uh, unlike your own personal vehicle storage, which only you can access. So that's a nice feature. Um, most ships, of course, you have to be on the outside to do that. Let's take a look at these windows. I'm falling down here. Let me see if I can get back up. That's cool. I mean, what more do you want out of a starter ship? Uh, I think that that external storage being right here is a huge advantage um, over other ships because you can be in the ship when you access it. Um, unlike I think every other ship you need to you need to be outside of the ship. This is an excellent starter ship, I think. I could probably get a little lower than that, right? Yeah, now nah, I'm going to crash. The nose drops a little bit on us when you... Uh... Yeah, let's check the nose, because that is a thing in ships... Um... You're flying level, and does the nose dip? I'm I'm at max speed, which is around 180. Uh, the nose is kind of staying where it needs to be. Now in the Nomad, it will it will drop on you when you're at top speed in atmosphere. Yeah, Krusty, I, I agree with you. This is this is more than just a, a standard starter ship. Try not to die here. Yeah. This is definitely more... Now I'm tempted to get just a little bit closer. It doesn't look like I'm... It's 
close enough to the water. That's pretty close. Just want to get to skimming speed here. There we go. Let's try not to crash. It does look like I'm kind of pointed up a little bit, but uh Yeah, it's not a speed demon by any any sense of the term, but it's fast enough, you know? Like, I don't feel like I'm going slow or it's sluggish. But yeah, that's pretty much me maxing out right here. And of course, when you're when you're maxing out, you do need to kind of force the stick there to get uh your turns in it it flies fast forward which is kind of what we know we knew it to be so you're not going to outmaneuver a fighter in this ship but we don't expect it to you know that's not its job with getting a couple of stalls here Feels like the game is ready to crash on me. I mean, I'm flying in high winds and yeah, this is great. All right, let's take this thing out. Let's try boosting, see what we got. I thought I had my landing gear down. So difficult to see uh, the difference between down and up when the HUD is green like that, so. I'll take this to area 18 and maybe pick up the Corsair from there because that's where it is for me. Yeah, I can see this thing. I mean, I haven't refueled yet and I've, I'm pretty much going to run the whole system here by heading to area 18. to jump out there to get to where I really wanted to go.
Let's take this Awala. I, I'm not done flying it. I was going to pick up the Corsair, but uh, I want to kind of do some flying on uh, on Walla with this, just for fun. I'm also going to check out the weapons on this ship here. I don't think we have much for weapons. I think it just has the, uh, what, size 2 or size 1 repeaters. But one, as soon as we get to our corp, I'll fire off a few rounds and take a peek at those. do have some missiles. Interesting. Four. Uh, where do they come from? Oh, just below. Okay, they're opened up. Nice. Okay, that's cool. Little bulldog repeaters. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Oh, yeah. I love this little guy. I I have a certain uh, soft spot for uh, the small ships too, you know, because I do a lot of solo playing and and uh, 
you hop in one of those larger ships and it's like, ah, you know, you got all this weight behind you and it's not fun to fly or wasted space. This is just kind of, uh, you want to hang out by yourself, maybe pick up a friend, uh, do some transport, stuff like that. Run a box mission. Uh, we can see if a mule fits. We'll, we'll head down to the, uh, mining station here and, uh, I don't need to refuel. Look at that. I mean, I am barely touching my fuel. I, that's gotta be a mistake. Um, how much fuel is on this thing? I, I think that's great for new players though, right? As they're still, they're trying to explore a little bit and, uh, they don't want to, or maybe don't even know where they can refuel. Um, this is good for them. in there. That's cool. Just want to see how quickly it drops its speed. It does a great job. Yeah, it really, it really slows down in Atmo like you want it to. Yeah, I have the Pisces. Um, which is, uh, a, a great, great, great fast little ship, uh, Krusty, if you don't have it. Um, and it has a huge bonus, which is you can spawn it here. You can spawn it on any mining station, uh, that has those, um, vehicle spawn pads. I don't see them here. Lights don't help me very much, but um, also a little delay on the lights, I noticed. But uh, but yeah, I think uh, those are the building. Those are building. Oh, there it is right there. Yeah, these are not buildings. These. So your Pisces will spawn right here. Now, I don't know of any other small ship with a quantum drive uh, that you can spawn. Uh, maybe the 85X. Maybe. Yeah, that's it, and that happens to be a very get out of uh, jail free card when you uh, run into issues where you have the despawn happen to you, like it happened to me just last week. Oh yeah. Oh man, just starting to play this game. If you're a new player and you have this ship, oh, you'd be you'd be set for a while. Gonna refuel, but I also wanted to check out because um, I think I'm gonna run out of food and drink here pretty soon. So I was just gonna do just a spot of looting here. Everyone's at the show, I'm sure. So I'm sure the loot boxes are plentiful. Looks like I already have some stuff here in local inventory. That's good. Grab a med. Oop, there's a red box. Let's check that out. Can't walk by a red box. Oh yeah, some good, 
Some goodies here. Is there a red box back here? Nope. Can you access the ship storage from outside? I don't think you can, Krusty. I don't think you can. Um, let's go check. It's, you know, with most um, fighters, you have to access it from outside because there's no interior. But this fits in the middle. Um, so let's see here. Now, obviously, there would have to be some kind of exterior access button. And uh, since the... I think this is it. This is the storage that we looked at in the interior, but there's no hot button here uh, that I can see. So that's a great question. You have to be in the ship, I think. You know, and I'm okay with that because um, you'd almost want that from like a security standpoint, You're right? You wouldn't want to land like I just did. And then any old player can come by and uh, and just go into storage. But this is the exterior storage. Oh, I, I jumped out there. This is the exterior store. Mm, okay. Let's try that again. Yeah, the, it's, a it's a little bit buggy because that door is trying to get in my way. Oh, it's it's kicking me out. That's interesting. Let me just try it from a very sharp angle here. Yeah, it's not working right now. It gives me about a half a second to look at the external storage. Not sure why that is. Huh. That's that's a little annoying. Yeah, as soon as it pops me in there, it takes me out. And that door sound seems to be... Now, I did it before. I did it before. Let's try going low. Nah, it's just bugging out right now, unfortunately. Uh, but that's very handy. Um, it was working before, so I'm not sure what's going on now okay so you're saying this is yeah uh, did you see earlier I when I accessed that it worked like a charm so yeah it's probably just something that's happening you know kind of as a bug there are a lot of ships out a lot of people on the server I bet it's a uh, it's an issue related to that uh, but yeah of course this inventory is mine and uh, no one can access it which is fine oh really ooh that's a bad sign yeah it seems like they may have been doing something I did get this to work before though so that's there we go. Oh, yeah, I thought it was going to work. Uh, but it, it what the bug is, is it pops me right back out of storage. Uh, I'm good on everything. I'm going to, I don't even need to refuel here. Hey, Marius. Yeah, um, Krusty, I do have um, voice attack for uh, inventory swapping, but unfortunately, it requires the microphone.
to have a different setup than what I have when I stream. So when I'm playing solo, I definitely use voice attack for that. Um, in fact, it is a bit of a pain to have that and not be able to use it. I might just pick up a box mission to put this thing through what a normal first time player might might go through. Uh, this is an awesome ship, uh, Marius. It is um, my favorite new small ship by far. And I wish I had this when I first started playing the game. I really do, because this is great. Oh wait, am I already? Yeah, I'm already at the pickup spot, so uh, that's cool. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Flies great in atmosphere. You can, Krusty, you can key bind macros to voice attack. Um, I just haven't. I haven't. Uh, because um, the voice attack command that I use... Uh, takes a variable input uh, and you can't you can't bind that to a key so when I what I do is I say move inventory left 500 and it'll move 500 items for me uh, and I can say any number um, within a range uh, so I don't set it up like a loop like some people do because I'm a programmer and uh, setting up a loop like that is really dangerous uh, from a programming standpoint uh, because it just goes until you stop it, which if something happens and you can't stop it, then you're in an infinite loop and that those are really bad. Um, so, you know, I don't code that way in real life, so I wouldn't use that for the macro. So I, I want to specifically tell voice attack, please, you know, give me 20 items uh, or give me 50. Um, and then I just do that. Um, and that will help me uh, prevent you know, it running off. If you use that loop, by the way, it can slow, it can bog the server down because it's sending out requests to the server. And that is not a good thing. Um, you don't want to send out a thousand requests to the server. Uh, Marius, uh, this handles like a charm. It is the... Um, I, I had it in Atmosphere and it in Microtech, that's where we, we started with this ship. It flew it flies perfectly. Um you got the VTOL. Uh we were just on Hurston and uh earlier or after that and it handled perfectly. Now of course it's not a it's not a fighter. Uh so what you get is that linear speed from this ship uh it's it can it's not the fastest ship but it wants to go in a straight line um but it corners just fine because it doesn't have you know the top speeds i think we we're hitting about three or four hundred in atmo you know i i was trying to do some turns here and when we get to uh to the surface here i'll do but it turns just fine you know, it's not going to turn like a, a fighter, uh, but you wouldn't expect that. I think it handles perfectly. Um, it will whip around a corner, um, and because you're not getting super fast, uh, so the speed limitation that this ship has helps you with handling, um, and it is responsive. Um, you know, I can roll this thing pretty easily, and look how it sticks. Uh, when I get out of a roll, it just kind of gets in there and sticks. Um, turn that off. Uh, has a pretty good, you know, average speed. It's not like a, a Pisces. It's not zipping around that fast. Um, but it will, like you can see, I'm doing 400. Um, which is kind of close to the max. We did five or 600 there. But there's a dead stop. Just kind of watch that drop off, which is great. 
I like it when uh, a ship will slow down like that so you can kind of come in a little bit faster and then it drops off. Just drop off the, the throttle. Yeah, I didn't really feel the weight in the turns. Um, I was doing a little speed there um, and when we get to some place where I can do that I'll kind of show you what I what I've seen so looks like we got two packages to pick up in one and the other the third is in a different building yeah but look at this it just so yeah maybe we'll just land this thing now, of course, with the smaller ships, the whole advantage is you can... Look at that. That's cool. Uh, the whole advantage is you can uh, land wherever you want. Now, this VTOL is great. Kind of exactly what I want out of a VTOL. Maybe I'll go this way. Uh, a little bit of a tough landing there. Yeah, uh, Marius, that's exactly right. It is. Um, if you're if you're comparing this to the other starter ships, uh, which I think you have to, right? You can't. You can't compare this to. Uh, You know, uh, an Andromeda that's not even in its class, right? Um, but for starter ships, this thing, because I went back and I, f I flew my starter ship, which was the Avenger Titan. And I wanted to see if I st still liked that ship. And it was not good. It was not a good uh, ship. Uh, it didn't handle well as well as I thought, which as a new player... You know, that's your impression of how ships fly is your starter ship. And then you you see the different handling as you advance in the game. Uh, but this ship, I think, is going to be a great a great ship for a starter because it, it flies really well. So I'll pick up a couple of boxes here and then we'll uh, just see how that runs. Uh, did I go in the wrong building? Did I? I guess I did. Uh, let me check some loot here while I'm here. Uh, nothing I want. I don't want a white box. In all my uh, excitement about this ship, I went in the wrong building. Uh, there's one. And yeah, I guess it's in that other one right there. Yeah, I mean, the ship... Handles the atmosphere better than, than I do, walking. Yeah, I could see a lot of people... They did a good job. So the thing is with, with Drake and the starter ships is... And the game in general. I mean, the go-to starter ship is going to be the, you know, a Cutlass, a Cutlass Black... Uh, that was your entry to uh, Drake. Um, but this... Oh, there's a red box we'll make sure we hit. Uh, but this is going to take some of those customers away, I think. Um, and then the Cutlass will be like, okay, I want to get into multiplayer. Um, but if you're just kind of hanging out, like I should have landed over over here. Oh yeah, I was gonna see if I could fit a Drake mule in here. I don't know if you can. I it'll be an interesting check. We'll definitely do that. But assuming I'm running it old school, there's where my storage is.
Yeah, and the Titan... Um, Krusty, yeah, my opinion of the Titan is it feels like a ship that is more of like what we see today. It's not a futuristic looking ship. You know, it doesn't have the um, look of, of, of a modern uh, a futuristic spaceship, which is fine. Um, but it does feel like you're kind of flying the uh, space shuttle. Let's check this uh, loot box out. Uh, yeah, I'll take some of this. Marius, I think this would be a great bunker um, ship, really. As a, this could be a great daily driver. Uh, that's why I wanted to just run a box mission on it. Um, it's, you know, what you're expecting. It's not like the ship has a dramatic effect on box missions other than <laughs> speed, you know, and, and controllability in, in atmo uh, atmosphere. Those, those are the only two variables. And, of course, the ability to store up to three boxes, but that's not going to be an issue for most starter ships. Even... Uh, Yeah, even the, what Mustang even has now storage, right? Okay, so we got one more. I'm doing this the old school way. Kind of a throwback. Now, of course, that I have those boxes in there, the mule test may have to come after we do our delivery. Yeah, I was going to split this up uh, so that I did, you know, uh, an hour or so on the uh, cutter, and then I was going to go into the Corsair and check that out. But you know what? I might just stay on the cutter, and then I'm planning on potentially streaming later tonight. I just wanted to get to the expo, but I do have some things I need to get done before I can stream again. So I might just, uh, oh yeah, let's go get that box, right? And, uh, Marius, it does have a gun rack. Um, I believe, I believe we found, I don't have a gun on me, but I think it holds. I'll show you when we get into the ship. So when you're running your bunker missions, you can have a, a gun handy. Yeah, I was going to run the bunker box delivery mission, but I don't have a gun, so that would I could still do it. Uh, it's easy enough to go in there. Okay, that's cool. I mean, this is uh, great. You, you can clip into those doors, by the way. Um, so you do have to be careful when they close if you're in the threshold of the door. Oh, yeah, I was going to show you that gun rack. Let me just pop out. It's right here. Uh, to the left. I mean, I think that's a gun rack, right? Am I right? Yeah, I think I am. Pisces is better than the Titan in just about every way. Um, the Pisces is the fastest ship uh, in this game. It will literally black out your passengers. Um, the disadvantage, so the Pisces is great, I, I should say, in just about every way. Not, not every, 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 every single way. 
Uh, it will get out of Atmo faster than any of the other ships. Um, the things that the Pisces doesn't have are it doesn't have a bed. So if you want a bed log, uh, you can't, um, which I think will become a thing. But its intention really is a shuttle. It's not meant uh, for you to live off that, uh, the Pisces. Um, the Pisces will also spawn in the Platinum Bay, like we talked about earlier. So it has a huge advantage uh, if you despawn or, you, or you know, you're in a tight pinch. You can spawn that ship anywhere. And um, it will fly very fast. And it is the ship I use when, let's say, I'm meeting up with some friends and, and they're, you know, at Orson or wherever and I'm at Arc L1. I'll hop in the Pisces. It'll get me there the fastest, and then, you know, we can all jump on their uh, Redeemer or whatever ship, or the Hammerhead, whatever, you know. So it's great for that. It is it is the shuttle ship that I, uh, I... I wish it were, you know, like, as a starter ship, it's not going to be the best. Um, you can fit... I think you can even fit the uh, Grey Cat PTV in it. Um but you really are limited with the bay. You know, this is in the, the cutter has hands down the best bay for a starter ship that I've seen. But the Pisces, I love it. Um, it's fairly inexpensive. You can buy it in game. And uh, I believe it's currently broken, by the way. I think the, the bay door won't open up. So you can't get into the ship right now as of the last patch. Uh, I haven't checked it today because they did do an update today. Yeah, the Titan doesn't fly well in ammo. Um... Oh, I have to drop off. Oh, this is <laughs> this is one of those ones where I have to go to three locations, which is fine. Just a little bit more flying time in the uh, in the cutter. Yeah, I also can't get over these back windows. These are so cool. Uh, you can see into the bay, these little slit windows. And uh, Marius, I don't know if you saw this uh, but earlier, but you see these. you actually have some window shades here. Uh, since we're stopped, I'll show. So over here on the left, this window... see it closed and uh, same thing on the right I don't have a key bind for it or else I'll show you show you the animation but uh, they're closed now and you have that little deploy or retract and they open back up and you can see out the only ship I'm aware of that has window shades uh, so I don't know when we're going to use those, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of a cool little feature that this ship has that I don't know of any other ship. I don't think any other. Is it window armor? I mean, I guess, does it help with our, like, you know, our, <laughs> does it help? <laughs> uh, 
we get some more hit points for that. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> it's cool no matter what, though. I, I think it's great. It's like just a little characteristic that this ship has. Uh, you know, it doesn't have a fan that I can see. Yeah, so it is window armor. Yeah. But does it really have any meaningful like difference? I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't think we'll be doing too much fighting in this ship. Just has a couple of bulldog repeaters and uh four size one missiles. So Oh is there? Ah, you're right. There it is. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was looking for the dashboard, uh, the dashboard fan, but there it is. Yeah. Drake ships probably run hot, you know, and they need to. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I'm just kind of bowling around here and. It doesn't feel sluggish to me. Yeah, I'm able to kind of bounce around however I want. It seems pretty good. I don't know if I have space here or not, but uh, let's find out. Ooh, that was a rough landing, and I didn't have my gear down. I didn't. Oh, I do have my gear down. I wasn't expecting to plop down quite that fast. That's pilot error. Don't don't hold that against the cutty or the cutter. Yeah, we're gonna be saying cutty and cutter. I think that's the one thing about the name of this. It's like eh, I get that they're kind of referencing. The Cutlass, but uh, a lot of people are going to be confused about which ship you're talking about. Drake AC. That's right. It's like, it's getting hot in here. People are complaining. Uh, we'll give you a fan. But not a fancy fan. We're going to give you one of those. We'll just give you, you know, a fan fan. Uh, let's see here. 232. Two. These metal ones are heavy, by the way. They slow you down. Even even the interface here, you know, like on an Orison ship, the button would be this big button. But on a Drake ship, it's like, no, it's right there. <laughs> you you got to want to open the door and they're not going to make it easy for you. Uh, drop off. Okay, where is my drop off again? I grabbed the wrong package. All right, let me go see what package, because there we go. 878, gotcha. I got fooled by the uh, marker. Oh, uh, Krusty, you took the... Uh, Corsair for uh, some delivery missions. Yeah, the landing of the Corsair is going to be a thing because you're going to have to remember to retract those wings. And I've seen more than seven videos of people 
coming in for a landing in a Corsair and crashing because that bottom wing uh, does what a bottom wing does when it hits a surface and sticks to it. I love the new button controls as well, Marius. I, I think I think all of them are kind of getting a revamp. Um, the ones that didn't have buttons and ships. Uh, we were speaking about the Pisces earlier. Uh, it has a button control now. Uh, since we're here. It's a good time to loot while everyone is at the expo. Oh, those are cool. Um, yeah, so the... The Pisces you can't get in right now. I'm, I was going to check that today. Uh, but last night... It was broken. Uh, the But there was a new control. Um, they originally had you... Uh, the hit point was just the door. And now there's a control button there. Or panel. And, you, and that's just not working. Uh, but I would imagine that change is is probably because of the um, the rumored, practically confirmed medical variant of the Pisces. They probably had to do a little exterior rework on the original. And you know when you first get a ship and you have that moment when you walk out and you see it and you're like, oh, that's the ship I get to fly. I just had that moment. I was like, oh, this, I get to get back in that ship and fly it again. That's cool. Very cutlass black bay door there. You can run up. Yeah. Um, Krusty s said that uh, there were a lot of people in game last night saying that the ramps were broken on various ships. Yeah, I th I think the Pisces uh, it makes sense, right? If they're if they're modifying it or there's that medical variant. Oops, uh, I just want to check my math here. Okay, so we want to go to Sal to Unlyria. Okay, cool. Let's just check. Now we're on a moon. Um, on Leary, you really only need to get like 4,000. Uh, our altimeter is broken. So I won't be able to measure how long it takes for me to get there, but we're cooking. Yeah, we're going 740. I'm not maxed out, so that looks like I maxed out around. Oh, almost. Yeah, 970, 980, that's great. I'm probably out of atmosphere already. The elevator on the Corsair, uh, those switches are amazing yeah i think that's i think that is very drake and uh it is a great addition to that ship um just kind of adds to like what you would expect from drake they're not going to give you a, you know a button and there's a lot of some cool interactions like the gladius um when you go flight ready there's kind of an, an animation that happens there i don't know if they're going to be continuing to do that in some of the other ships but I really like it. I know you want to look at the ship. I do too.
Yeah, it's hard to go wrong with this. Um, uh, so you had asked about uh, turning. So yeah, obviously I'm at high speed now. Let's do a little turn around. You know, am I am I doing a 180 here? No, not not in a few seconds. But there's a there's a loop, and a, there's a dead stop. And yeah, it's coming about. It you know it was fine. But it is a, you know, it's, it, I think it's balanced to what it's supposed to be for this kind of a ship. Yeah, Drake's, uh, Marius, I agree, that's sort of what they're known for, right? Just exposed ductwork and uh, it's kind of cool. Yeah, I think. Let's just bring it in for a landing right here. Plenty of room to land wherever you want. You know, I'm so used to the cutlass, you know, and you feel almost like you're in kind of a bigger ship than you actually are. I just want to try that external storage again. Oh, now it's working. I mean, before it was kicking me right out, so that's cool. Uh, so we need 859. I love this look as well. I, I really do. I'm a fan of, you know, the ruggedness of this ship and just like even these cargo um straps you know no frills i also like that they're finally getting the hint that you can have access buttons on either side of the ramp because i'm to be honest, I leave my ramp down way more than I should. The Argo raft, uh, I, I went into the wrong building again uh, because I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> I think in my mind, I'm like, I'm going to go spawn a mule. Yeah, let's go where we're supposed to. I'm not doing a very good job of being a box delivery person when I go into the wrong building twice on the same mission. Uh, I love the raft, uh, Marius, as well. Those industrial ships um i love like the mole as well um and i know some people don't like the ships that fly like bricks but uh that's part of their character and the mole is i think one of the more difficult ships to fly there we go delivery delivery uh, we are good on looting. I like to save the loot for those people in need. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. SRV. There it 
There it is. Hey, Brian. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we're just playing around in the uh, cutter. Uh, I was at the convention earlier. And uh, I got this ship and I thought I would fly it around. And now I'm doing a box mission. Yeah, Luca. Yeah, I was, I was pretty sure that was you. Yeah, we're literally just... I just wanted to try a box mission on this thing. And um, verdict is... I love it. I love this ship. Uh, we got VTOL. Uh, nice, perf you know, uh, really well handling in atmosphere. And uh, check this out. This is my, my favorite feature. Which is you can close these side windows. Yeah, for a little little extra protection there. <laughs> That's so cool. I'm definitely gonna have to keep buying that. Yeah, I'll let you take a look at look at this. Um, it's a great one seater. It really is. Um, I think you know, like I was saying earlier before you joined the stream, if this was my first starter ship, I would have. I mean, it's amazing, and I'm definitely going to get this ship. Um, even though it's a starter ship, I I think I can put it to use. Because it's fun to fly. Uh, I think that's just where we came from. Last delivery. Oh no, Luca, you can't play. Are you um, without internet? Or, I mean, I guess you do have internet because you wouldn't be here. Yeah, I was, I was right on... Um, right when it started and we did a quick walkthrough so go back and check the stream if you want to see what uh what was all there in the uh in the convention center and uh yeah i was pretty pretty happy this ship and the corsair obviously kind of take the show um but uh there's some other great ships there and it, it uh looked pretty pretty cool in in there looking at the ships uh renting was not working for me uh but the Drake ships are in my hangar, uh, at least the Corsair and the uh, Cutter, which I'm flying right now. Uh, that is on the site. Uh, the Cutter, I think you can buy it. Just look real quick. Not for sure it was. Uh, so the Corsair is uh, 225. And the. Yes, yes. Um, you can get the cutter for $40. Uh, or if you are melting something, $45. So, yeah, this might be a good ship giveaway um, on my Discord. So if uh, you're not familiar with that, um, I run a Discord server called the Know Nothings, and we do ship giveaways every month, usually on the lower dollar amount side, because this is all funded out of my pocket. But uh, we'll be giving away 1 million Alpha UEC. And uh, I think this month, maybe we'll switch that to the cutter um, as the giveaway. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, this ship just flies. 
really well. I think, um, yeah, it reminds me, it's kind of in the nomad class. I think, I think, you know, being of a similar, I mean, this is a bigger ship than the nomad. Um, I think, yeah, I think it's about, uh, a little larger cause it has a larger bay, but it does kind of remind me of that ship, the nomad. Yeah. So we'll definitely, Aluka, we're going to, we'll give away the cutter. Um, this is a beautiful ship. Uh, you can get some paints with it. Um, but yeah, for $45 as a standalone, uh, and I believe 40 would be war bond. Yeah. 40 is war bond. So that's new money in the game. But if you melt, it costs you 45. Oh yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. Uh, that'd be great. Maybe we'll give away a couple of these. Yeah, it's like I want everyone to fly this ship. Yeah, I think I'm going to I'm going to do that, Luca. I was originally going to give away the STV, but I didn't know at the time I made that announcement, uh this ship hadn't hadn't been out. So I bet everyone would would prefer uh this bad boy. Look at that ship. Looking at the other paints, it comes in, uh, there's like a green-orange paint. Uh, that's the other paint, I guess. There's two paints. Uh, uh, the, uh, the default, what you're seeing now, and then there's an orange, kind of military green and orange. Yeah, I love these windows in the back too. I've I've said that probably ten times, but um, they're just great. Those little slit windows, and of course, <laughs> we all know how deadly box missions can be. Um, I think I'm fine. I have just two minutes of health. Why is that? Let me get back in the ship. Uh, let me see if I have a med gun. I think I do, but I bet it's empty. Oh, I'm back. Hey, I think this is empty. Is it? No. How do I do myself? I thought it was left mouse button. Oh, I'm in an armistice zone. Yeah. Well, I'm sure this isn't the first blood spilled in this Drake, Drake ship. <laughs> All right, where's that box? There it is. Somehow I just clipped through. I think I'm good. I think I've been healed because my uh, survival time counter went away. Uh, Luca, this does have VTOL. Um, I'll show you when I get back to the ship. It's very similar to the Cutlass. It has those rotating... And hey, Drophammer. Sorry, I didn't say hello there, Drophammer. Yes, hello. <laughs> It isn't a box mission unless you're, you bleed out. <laughs> well, that'll put an end to this box mission. I 
I got a whopping 8,000 for that. That'll cover the cost of the band-aids. Yeah, you got to be careful. Look at that. Stairs are deadly here. Yeah, Luca. So, um, these rotate, uh, and there's your VTOL, and those stay as as re uh, rear thrusters. Yeah, drop hammer. There's been a bunch of random clipping. In fact, on the uh, floor room shore uh, floor, um, I was trying to get into the Corsair, and I was clipping through the ramp of it. So I'm not sure if other players are having. Oh, uh, Luca for the uh, med pen. Yeah, I I don't have. I didn't have a pen. I only had the gun and I'm in an armistice zone, so I don't think that worked. You can't just take those refills and stab yourself with them, can you? That'd be great. Oh, so that's the end of the box mission. Yeah, so what we could do real quick, since we are here. Uh, so I know for a fact that a gray cat rock will not fit. The back wheels uh, hang out. Uh, but we could try putting some other ground vehicles in here. Uh, so let's do that. Yep. It's she's a deadly here. Uh the winds they will get you. Now, you know what? I'm going to be a bad citizen and uh leave my uh <laughs> I'm just going to leave the bay down. Yeah, Luca, what he was saying was to make sure you do have a helmet because he was clipping out of the cockpit. And so if he didn't have a helmet on, he was, you know, you'll you'll die. If you get low like that, it decreases your chance of getting thrown out by the wind. All right, so what should we try? We know the rock doesn't fit. I'm curious. Uh, I think this is going to be a pretty easy no, but I'm going to try the the mule. Because that's the one I'm most curious about. Oh, that was an instant claim? Really? No. Oh boy. Let's try this terminal. That terminal is buggy. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. There we go. That looks more accurate, right? Eight seconds. Yeah, Marius, uh, they really are um, fully detailed with that kind of thing. Um, in fact, my story with that is the time I clipped into my prospector and I was in the ship, I was in the walls of the ship and there was wiring in the walls and they were labeled like... MISC labeling on the wiring in the walls of the ship. And I, I can't, you know, imagine they intend for us to be clipping 
into that part of the ship, but uh, you, you know, <laughs> it's it's kind of reassuring that they're thinking that level of detail, even in the areas where you're probably not seeing the ship right now. Um, that's kind of cool. All right, we're going to see if this fits. It's one drake to another, so you never know. Yeah, the cyclone, I think, is bigger than this. So I don't think that's going to fit. Okay, so this... They said to be careful. <laughs> so I'm going to be very careful. Uh... I mean... It definitely will fit from a uh, width. But I'm not sure it's going to have enough depth. Oh, it's in. It is definitely in. It is. That looks like that'll fit. Interesting. Let's see if I can get out. Now, of course, you have no choice but to... Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. We made it. You know, you, you can't leave the ship without taking the mule. Uh, but... Uh, you, can, you know, I can get back in. Uh, I just have to always take the mule in and out as I go, right? So I can get back in. There's a button right here. And some magic will happen that I clip. But I think what I'm trying to see is how much clearance I have in the back wheel. Because am I, could I go back? Just a smidge, you know? Uh, this is the challenge with the smaller vehicles because they don't have a lot of clearance. And the camera really doesn't know what to do in these confined spaces. But if you go low and pull away, sometimes you'll get a nice view. But nah, that's not going to help. But I can... I can get out. Uh, the question is, can I close the door? Uh, and I have that key bound, so... I mean, is it... Uh, a great fit? No. That door makes me nervous because I've clipped into that door. Um... So yeah, now I'm stuck in the ship with the mule, but what I want to do first, which is fine, because if you're using the mule, you're using it, presumably. Uh, yeah, so I want to kind of get a better angle here. And we'll close the ramp. I mean, there's plenty of room in there. I could even have gone back just a little bit. So you, you really do have to be careful, but it fits in there. Yeah, so if you're running box missions uh, or bunkers and, you're, and you want to take your mule with you, um, you can definitely do it. it. You know, it's a small ship, so you have to be careful uh, getting in and out. Uh, but yeah, so... You know, imagine I land and I'm ready to do my box mission. Uh, or my, my bunker. I just head back here. 
and uh, get back in the mule real quick. And of course, I would have to make sure that I open the bay doors, which I didn't do. So yeah, that's a problem, right? You got to make sure that your cargo bay door is open. Oh, it is open. It's open. Yeah. I mean, that works. That works. Uh, but that's about it, right? Anything bigger than, than that's not going to fit. And the thing with the cyclone too, um, uh, the thing with this, the cyclone is you can't, you need a, you need a ground vehicle that you can exit from the front and the cyclone has you going off to the side. So even if it does fit, it's, uh, not going to work. Now, the big question is what about the STV? That is, uh, I think that's going to be, I don't know. We're going to try it. We're going to try the STV. And I'm going to store this so I don't get into any issue uh, like I did before. Where I despawn my main ship. <laughs> But that's kind of cool that the the mule fits. Confirmed, it fits. Please proceed to sign landing bay. Now the Steve, the Steve, the challenge is going to be getting out. Like if it fits, that's one thing. But can I get out? And I don't, I don't think there's going to be enough room. But we'll see. It's smaller than it looks. Um, it's smaller than it looks. It's hard to say how big that thing is until you see it in game, and then you realize it's pretty small. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. So we are going to. Store that. Now we know the PTV will fit, so we don't need to worry about that one. But this is the question mark, right? Your insurance claim has been sent. Yeah, I mean, you could use this for bunker busting. Yeah. Your vehicle has been moved to yeah, that's that's crazy. But actually, a pretty decent option. Now, of course, um, we haven't talked about the elephant in the room, which is you don't have a lot of protection in this thing. Um, there's not a lot of weapons. You have four size one missiles. And uh, what is it? Panther repeaters? They're not. No, I don't think it's Panther. Uh, but there's, I believe they're size one. So now this is going to be the challenge, right? I'm going to have to see if it fits and also if I can get out. And this, if things go wrong, um, I may clip into uh, the wall of this ship. Uh, I don't think this is going to fit. I mean, to, to fit, to get in and out. Eh. I mean, the rock fits, so it's going to fit, but not the best parking job. Okay, so I'm going to really have to kind of hug the right side. That's the plan. Because I need, I need to be able to get out on the left. I can't go in too far. 
So, oh, look at that. Look how much room I have. So I definitely can bring the tires back. I think this is going to fit just fine. Look at all that room. Yeah, I can definitely. This fits better than the mule. This fits better than the mule. Gimbal size 2. Thanks, Marius. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to pop out. Uh, yeah. Check this out. Now, I can walk around it even. Uh, now, the tire front tire is stopping me a little bit, but y y you can jump a tire. Let me get back in. Yeah, it's this little hop over the tire there. I'm going to turn this off real quick. Um, I think this fits better than the mule. Honestly, uh, look at all that room I have. Uh, yeah, I do have to do a little tire hop, but that's probably... See, I, I could even have scooted over just a tad and really forced it on the right side. Uh, with this setup, with the STV, uh, you don't have to worry about getting in and out while you're actually in the ship. So, because I can just not have to take that out now. Yeah. Plenty of room. There's plenty of room in there. You just have to park it over to the side, like I've done. Uh, and I didn't have any trouble getting that in. So, I i mean, if you can use the STV uh, for your bunker missions, uh, which you can, um, it doesn't offer, like, the protection that a mule does uh, from the environment, but that's not usually a big deal. And you've got some gun racks on the uh, STV. Uh, can I close from the hangar? Uh, I think no, because um, in order for me to park where I needed to park to get out as a driver, I had to cover up this spot here. So my concern is if I try to close the door, yeah, can I access it? Sure. But if I close that door and don't get out of the way, will I clip through it? Mm, maybe. Um, and I don't think think there's any way to do that through I can give it a go but you definitely would need to now what I could do and I need room I need room here and I wouldn't recommend getting any closer to this door because you will clip you will clip into this door I've clipped into this door before uh, and that's that happens when you're in the threshold and it decides to close but if I moved it forward a little bit, yeah, I could get that. I could definitely get that button. Again, you just have to do a little tire hop here to get through. Um, but I would feel better if I could, if I could have, you know, a little, if I was a little more in the ship right now. I could give it a shot. What's the worst that's going to happen? Ooh, yeah, if you do that. Yeah, see those back tires were right on the... Yeah. And then to get out of the ship, you know, if you don't have the uh, bay door down. Uh, let's see if we can do that. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to do it. It's not going to be easy. Ooh, I just turned the lights on. There we go. Yeah, you're in, you're in a clipping situation here. That's not how I would do it. I would... My personal preference is just to bind that key. If the... Okay, Marius, that's a great idea. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, he said, why don't you back it in? And that's 
so much smarter. Yeah, so let me back this in. I'm not in a great spot because there's that that light is in my way, that uh, surface light. So I'm going to try to do some fancy maneuvering here. Really just trying to be careful here on the first attempt. But I think you're right. Like, this is actually... And I can't see in there, so I don't know if I'm hitting the back tire. But uh, this is a better setup. Yeah, just bring those tires to about there. Oh yeah, that's that's a you're, that is a great idea. Yeah, if you back it in, if you take the time to back it in. Um, let's pop out here, and then we'll have full access to. Yeah, that is a much better, much better setup. I uh, still have to tire hop on that back tire, but oh, that's way better. Yeah. So that is the recommended way to do it for sure. Back up the STV, um, take the time to do that. And then you have access to everything you can get in and out. Um, now there's no way you're bringing a friend and you're both getting into the STV uh, at the same time, but uh, that's, that's not an issue for most people. Um, I mean, the fact that you can put anything in this. Now, of course, the Grey Cat uh, STV, uh, uh, the um, PTV, sorry, uh, that's going to fit in there just fine. Uh, but but with, you know, if you have one of these, you're going to want to take this because this has some gun racks, got it has storage. Um, yeah, that's that. Be, this is a bunker setup right now. It's a, it's a fairly decent bunker setup. I don't have a gun or else I'd do a box mission, a uh, bunker box mission, but there she is. I mean, I can't say enough good things about it. It is, it is great little ship uh so yeah luca the VTOL. i don't know if i showed you that uh, let me just power up there she is VTOL mode it uh performs really well it has um external storage which is just another nice feature uh it fits the gray cat stv it fits um the PTV, obviously. And, uh, yeah, it does, it does every, it has a, a gun rack. Uh, it has a enough room there for a good, you know, good amount of storage there for whatever you're doing, including, I mean, the bay is the selling point for sure for the versatility. And, uh, Top speed, uh, we were flying here in Atmo at 400 or so. Let me uh, bring it up. We'll show you. Why well, tell you when we can show you? Because I was actually planning on doing some low flying here <laughs> or just relative. Get the landing gear up. Just want to kind of show the engines as they're firing. Uh, so in Atmo, you know, we're we're on a moon, so we're going to be like, yeah, I, I said 400, but it looks like here on Magda, I'm 
pushing 500, 600. We'll let it, we'll let it top out. Yeah, so Marius, this is unmagged, huh? And we're hitting, we're just getting over 600. I think it'll top out at 700. Nope. We're flying in a straight line, which is what this ship really is meant to do. Uh, yeah, I think that's kind of it. That's all she's got. Let me, let me boost. Yeah, in space, I think we get it. Um, we were getting over a thousand, but I haven't really tested it. Let's pop out of atmosphere here. Not that there's much atmosphere on Magda, but wish the altimeter was working so I could tell you, you know, if I'm in Atmo or not. She is fast in a straight line, uh, Marius, and it corners okay. Um, obviously, at top speeds, it's not going to corner. Uh, that great, but uh, you just wouldn't expect that from anything other than a fighter, so. But I think we'll hit uh, 900,000, uh, 900 to 1,000. Yeah, here we go. 960. Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, you can run away. You can you could run away in this ship, um, <laughs> you know. And uh, of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't say like, you got some enemies over there. You just go ahead and deploy these windows, and there they're gone. <laughs> I mean, or if you're like, oh, hang on, is somebody over there? You can. Yep, okay, they're there. All right, let's close it up. We don't want them seeing me. So you got that versatility. Yeah, I think we're topping out 9 960 here. We're in space for sure by now. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Reverse thrusters, we very rarely get to see those. I mean, the front of this thing reminds me of a mule, doesn't it? Like, this is, um, and I was saying this earlier, obviously the mule would be the baby of a cutlass and a, and a, and a cut, a uh, cutter. <laughs> so a cutlass and a cuddler, a cutler, cutler, <laughs> cutler, uh, the cutter, cutter, and the cutlass could make a mule it has the front of a mule it has the back of a cutlass I love this ship I really need to keep buying those window animations because that I wish I could do that right now but I I don't know what that command would be um let's see here That's VTOL. Yeah, I have to look that up. Let's see if there's a way to open Windows, if there's a command for that. Because I'm definitely going to want to toggle those. The other buttons on here, uh, this is the landing gear, which is kind of cool. It's a, a lever like that, the lever. Let's retract that. What else do we have? That looks like self-destruct, but that's not hot. Uh, and then MFDs, of course. Uh, down here, there's nothing. Uh, this is the G-safe. I think all of these... No, it's just that button. They all... Oh yeah. 
Press to unlock. Press to lock, unlock. Yeah, and then here's your power. Engine's on. And that's open exterior, okay. Yeah, a little difficult to get your finger right where you want it. You have to kind of approach the button that you want. But uh, those are all available. Uh, and this is exiting the seat. And I think that's it. And there's no MFD on the ground on this one. But this is my favorite button right now. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. I don't know why, but I love it. I love that. Oh, drop hammer just saw that you said uh, you could bring me a gun. I think I'm going to wrap it up here uh, for this one. And uh, I might be streaming later today because uh, I do want to take the cross, uh, Corsair out and uh, kind of do similar things, just kind of play around with it and see how I would use it. But uh, yeah. So the one to the right of the keyboard. Uh, that's the quantum drive spool. Yeah. Which doesn't work. I guess, uh, yeah. No, it doesn't. That's supposed to do that. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's working. Oh, but I love the speaker. So this must be where we get the quantum uh, drive noise. It's wired up there. I wonder if somebody's ever traced these wires back and found where they all go. I bet they all go to where they're supposed to. Now, I have not refueled yet. Um, oh wait, did I, I may have refueled once, sorry, cause you get 6,000, uh, units of fuel, 6,000. And just for reference, if I were to head back to Microtech, it's 348 to get to Microtech. I mean, you, this thing has a tank on it, uh, a fuel tank. Uh, so I think I'm going to head back there land and then we might call it uh, and I'll be all set up for uh, streaming later today or um, we might catch it tomorrow see how the day goes I have some things I need to get get completed in real life I highly recommend you check this ship out and if you're looking for a starter ship, I would highly recommend this one. And if you're looking for it for free, check out the links in the description. Uh, I don't have this posted yet on my Discord, but uh, the link to my Discord is there. It's called the Know Nothings. Luca is a good friend of us on there. And uh, I will make an announcement after I finish this stream that we'll be giving one of these bad boys away at the end of the month. Because uh, this is the perfect starter ship. And it's a ship I think you just want anyway. And so it will be yours if you uh, check out. Uh, we really only have like one minor requirement, which is that you uh, get involved in the Discord a little bit. So we get a chance to know you. Um, there's a link to join our uh, org on C, uh, the RSI website. And uh, you can do that, then you qualify. Uh, there's other ways of qualifying as well. Just being involved, join me on stream. You'll be instantly qualified. So some of you on here who have been on stream with me this month, Drop Hammer, you're one of them. Uh, you're already in the running uh, for this 
giveaway at the end of the month, and we do three. So I'm, I probably will. We we give away the uh, subscri- one of the subscriber items. Uh, we'll buy it for you, um, and I'm. Uh, we've been giving away the Zeus suit since it came out because the, uh, the other armor that just came out last month. Um, there are people who are not too big of a fan of that, but. Um, so yeah, Drop Hammer, you're already in, um, and, uh, Luca, of course you're in, yeah, he was kind enough to boost the server, so, uh, that's just kind of another shortcut, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's pretty easy to, uh, just join the org, uh, we don't, we're not exclusive, so you can be in any other org that you want, um, and, uh, you know, hit the Discord to say hello if you, if you want to talk to me, and, Uh, That's probably the best way to get a hold of me. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be giving this puppy away. Uh, I'm going to definitely... Definitely. uh, And Luca's uh, so generously offered to to give one away too. So maybe, Luca, what we'll do, instead of a stupid subscriber item, we'll give away... The three prize giveaway will be uh, two of these one for two people right (laughs) one for one person i guess uh and the third will just give away the the million alpha uec because i know people like to have the in-game credit uh as well um so we'll we'll probably do both of those uh yeah so i'll I'll make that announcement on the uh, discord and we'll get the word around because uh i know that a lot of people are going to want to buy this this ship and uh if you get it for free why not Yeah, I can't believe the STV fits in here, and I can't believe how well it fits. So, yeah, this is really a versatile ship. So, I'm excited. And I'm excited to give this away. I I, I want people to fly this ship. And, of course, you can fly for free. Please do. You know, check it out. Maybe you hate it. I don't think you will, but maybe you'll hate it. And you won't want to win one of these but uh, I think people will want this ship and I know we have some other uh, ship uh, ships that'll be kind of uh, in the other days from the other manuf- manufacturers so um yeah the exterior lighting is cool on this ship crusty i agree i thought those were missile uh missile racks in the back but then i realized that they're lights the missiles come from the bottom here uh you see those two slightly curved warning let me see if i can zoom in yeah right here Yeah, there's the left one, and uh, the right one is on the other side. Those kind of curved lines open up, these doors open up, and the missiles come out, two on each side. In fact, um, 
all of you, uh, just so you know, um, if I do stream later tonight, uh, we maybe we'll do the giveaway live on stream, and we can give we can give the uh, give one of these away tonight. Um, of course, you'll have it, but uh, I think you'll have the. I'm not sure how the the free fly works uh, for. Uh, this I can't remember if you'll have access to this ship for the whole week I think um, I could be wrong about that am I wrong about that I don't know if anyone knows in chat um, but I think the way that it works is it's not like you get the access to the Drake ships just today uh, you get them tomorrow uh, and for the rest of the week I think Yeah, Marius, you have. Uh, I'm not sure if you're on the Discord. I'm not sure we've streamed together, so I'll have to check that list. But if you're not on the Discord, just pop on there and say hello, and we'll get you qualified for uh, a chance to win one of these ships tonight. Again, uh, I have to make sure that I can indeed stream tonight, um, but that's the goal. So if it's not tonight, it'll be tomorrow. Uh, check out the Discord. I, I'm going to make the announcement when I know for sure. Awesome. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice little group that we have going on there. Um, I know uh, a lot of people have come from um, Space Bubs or Score Lord stream, and uh, I'll chat them up as well and see if we can all get on. I'll Maybe we can do a, a larger giveaway uh, in the future with the three of us uh, kind of teaming up. That'd be kind of cool, too. But uh, this is just uh, for the Know Nothings, the Discord that I run. And uh, we do every month, we do giveaway. Um, usually, again, it's a starter. Uh, not the package, but we use a giveaway, a starter ship um, of some kind. Most often, it ends up being a land vehicle because... As I said, I'm funding um, this out of pocket, so every month I don't want to spend $300. <laughs> We're not at that level yet, but as we build the community, you bet, for sure, we'll give away bigger ships. But I think the starter ships are nice, too, just to have as a giveaway, because everyone has room in their fleet for a nice small ship, right? Looks like we're getting close to Microtech. We're going to go ahead and land. And again, anyone, uh, you know, don't feel obligated to be on the stream when we do the giveaway. I've got your name on a list. I promise you. And if you win, I will make sure we get a hold of you. So you do not need to be on the stream to get the goodies but if you uh, again and we kind of do that every month so every month you know you have the option of how you want to qualify if you're a member of the org you're automatically qualified if you boost the discord server you're automatically qualified for life if you um, I think those are the ones that will get you in the list every month. Um, but if you're able to join me on stream, uh, and that includes me being on someone else's stream and you being a guest on their stream, as long as I play with you that month, uh, I put your name on a list and you're qualified to win one of those three prizes every month. And as I was saying before, we're going to have some other ship manufacturers, so we'll see what what ships are available uh, on the other days. And uh, maybe there's another we can give away more than uh, more than one ship. We'll see. We'll see how things go. Of 
course, we have some contact. I'm just zipping around. I'm not trying to evade or anything. Somebody will take care of them. Uh, let's find the space station. You did, uh, yeah, you were saying you're doing some delivery at Microtech. It, it is a, it is nice. Yeah. Uh, this is one of my favorite cities. I, I like area 18, um, mainly for location, but this ship, uh, this, this city, uh, kind of has a special place in my heart because this is, this is the first home city that I had. And I, I've been thinking about coming back and, and making it my residence again. It is a bit of a out of the way, but so is Orison, right? Crusader. Um, look how they have the city lit up, which is kind of cool. There's another cutter. take it into the hangar. I, I want to try landing uh, because this is a challenging spaceport to land in with the winds, like I was saying earlier. So we'll give this a, kind of another test. A lot of people land on the ice and pop in and do what they need to do and avoid the space station because it is probably uh, I would maybe one of the more uh, challenging ones to, to land uh, from, from an atmospheric atmospheric standpoint not from uh you know any other way uh, but uh yeah because the winds are pretty high here you get these cross winds up here on the mountain Yeah, I love this. I didn't even, you know, again, I said, original plan was to take the, the Corsair out after I had my fun with the cutter, but um, I just couldn't help myself. I wanted to keep flying this. I still want to keep flying this, but uh, at some point I got to call it. So I'm going to take a small, uh, well, we're going to wrap up the stream here after I land and uh, I'll get together and uh, get the details together and put them on the Discord about the giveaway. And I think it's a brilliant idea to give this ship away, so can't wait to do it. The lights on this thing are not great. Uh, they are on a delay. And they don't really do anything. FYI. That's right, Space Bob. And um, we are still going. I'm just wrapping up here, but we're going to do. Um, I'm going to give away one of these cut uh, cutters tonight. I might stream again tonight. And uh, we're going to give away. If it's not tonight, I will do it tomorrow. Um, so the next time I stream, I'm going to give away this ship. 
uh, to we're actually gonna give away two. Uh, Luca, friend of the uh, stream and also a member of Discord, is uh, has generously offered to give away one as well. So I'm gonna give away one, and he's gonna give away one. We're gonna have two two of these ships now. His will be at the end of the month, and I want to make sure you know I check in with him on that because uh, that's very generous, and I want to make sure that he's okay with that. Um, but I will be giving away my giveaway uh, on stream, next time I stream. And you do not need to be uh, an audience member to to win. I've got my uh, list of people uh, that qualify every month for a giveaway. So and I explained earlier that uh, you can find that list of requirements on the Discord. And, uh, yeah, this has been, this has been a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, let's do, let's try VTOL, because I'm getting thrown around a little bit. Oh, yeah, much better. Much better. little dark and I'm, and uh, third person does help but uh, VTOL on this thing is oh yeah I feel like I'm on rails right now this is great I just want to sit here for just a second I'll line it up here and just kind of sit so what what will help here is if I line it up you'll see um, how much it sways. Uh, all you have to do is sort of look at the hangar doors. I'm going to bring it back here and then I'm going to set it there. So that's that thing is solid. I don't think I have my landing gear down. I'm swaying a little bit. You see, I'm, I'm floating there just a tad. But that is really microtech for you. You do have to kind of compensate for the wind. And, um... But not too... Pretty safe here. Look at that little tiny thing. Oh man, has this been fun. I love this ship. And, you know, I have to do it one more time. And I definitely have to find the key binding for this. Oh, hang on. There. I was getting that sound bug. Um, we gotta do this one more time. There they go. <laughs> That is my that is my favorite feature of this ship. Hands down. Hands down. Alright, well I want to just kind of repeat. I'm not sure people have dropped off. You see I've got the uh STV here. The gray cat fits in here and we um learn the best way to do it is to back it up and head to that back left corner. Uh, but make sure you give yourself enough room to get uh, to the side here as I'm there should be a little bit more room than I gave myself but because uh, I did have a little bit more room on the other side but then you can get out it fits in just fine uh, let me just pop out and turn around so you can see that oh did I clip no I am clipping I am not getting in. There we go. No? Mmm. That's not good. Just saying how easy it is. I didn't do a great job of backing up. Um, I did a better job when I went in face first, but but 
I can't remove it while I'm in the, uh, yeah, I can. I'm just going to drive it out. Yeah, you can see, like, I've got some room over here that I didn't totally capitalize on when I was backing it up. So we'll just try... Oh, look at that. You just have to make sure you leave enough room for you to get to the door. Yeah, is that better? That's way better. Yeah. You probably can't see too well, but now I can get out just fine. Yeah, so that is the Grey Cat STV fitting in the Drake Cutter. And when you back it up, if you back it up, then you can get out on this side and you have access to the uh, control panel to close the bay door. And we did put the mule in here, although with the mule, um, you have to take the mule in and out to get out of the ship. You can't walk alongside it like you can the STV. So I'm glad we tried that. We started this with me trying to fit the Grey Cat Rock in, and that was not happening. Uh, but it does look like you can fit the STV and uh, also the... Ooh, let's get that out of your face. Uh, also looks like we can fit the... Uh, the mule in a pinch, you know, not as convenient as the STV. And of course, the Grey Cat PTV will fit in there just fine too. But uh, for a starter ship, this has been an amazing, amazing ship. Uh, I, I think this is easily the best uh, starter ship in my opinion. And uh, I'm glad that we have some more options for new players to uh, experience something like like this so um, I am excited to give one of these ships away um, like I said if I can stream tonight I will uh, will give it away tonight if not it'll be tomorrow when I stream and uh, please check out the discord so that if you win that's where the winners will be announced um, outside of the stream uh, so if you can't catch the stream whenever that happens to be um, check out the discord and uh, we'll get a hold of you. I'll find a way of getting a hold of you if you win. You do not need to be on the stream uh, when we announce the giveaway. So that's only fair considering I can't tell you when that stream will be uh, outside of it being tonight or tomorrow. So I have had a blast uh, doing this today. And um, who would have thought I would have uh, loved this ship so much I didn't even get to the Corsair so if we stream tonight maybe we will get into the Corsair uh, uh, testing that out uh, that that sounds like a lot of fun too I just uh, got so wrapped up in this in this ship I couldn't couldn't stop couldn't stop <laughs> so all right everyone uh, I want to thank you for watching uh, you're all amazing I appreciate love all of you I this has been a great great uh, journey for me and i um, really excited to see we're getting even more subscribers. Uh, if, you, if you're not a subscriber, uh, please think, uh, you know, take a moment and like and subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell, uh, especially if you want to know when I go live, because when I go live, we're going to be announcing the giveaway of this beauty right here behind me. Not really the best shot in the world, right? Let's get to the front where you can see all of its goodness. Uh, we're going to be giving away two of these a month. 
uh, this month. So Luca has generously offered to give us one, and uh, I'll be giving mine away uh, to one of you uh, the next time I stream. So uh, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell, and we will see you all in the next one. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day, and maybe we'll see you later tonight. Maybe we will. All right. Take care. Yeah.